We're here with the head coach and general manager of the Green Bay Gamblers, Pat Mickish. This is Coach's Corner, presented by Aurora Bay Care Sports Medicine. The Green Bay Gamblers coming off two tough losses this past weekend to the Dubuque Fighting Saints. I want to talk about this last weekend, Pat, and it, I think you hit the nail on the head. If uh, Dubuque goes out and gets that lead, they become extremely hard to play against. Yeah, and they're a very good team. They exposed us in, in a lot of ways and, and I think showed us what we need to improve on. Uh, they're playing a very good brand of hockey right now. and. But uh, you know they're, they've been a team that's given us issues all year, so we need to uh, get back, get focused, and get ready for a, a very good Madison team this weekend. What are some of the focuses this week then uh, going into a, a, a weekend matchup against the Madison Capitals? What are some of those things that you guys want to improve on? Well, I think it's all of our little details. I, I didn't think watching back the video, our face-off coverage was very poor. Uh, you know, our puck support was nowhere near as strong as it's been early in the year. So there's lots of areas to improve that are just simple fundamentals that we can clean up on our own. A bright spot, though, 16 of your next 17 games are against conference opponents. What's great about that is there's a logjam in the Eastern Conference and there's going to be points that are going to be um, shifting around. Yeah, we just need to get back and start playing a better brand of hockey. I mean, it's uh, it's a weekend that, you know, you want to kind of put behind us, but, I mean, you want to make sure you learn from it. I, I, I don't think we want to dwell on it more than need be. We just want to make sure we improve. With the leadership core in this locker room, I, I feel like the mood is just going to switch off this weekend and the focus is going to turn to next week pretty quickly. Th that'll be our focus, you know, as a staff. And, you know, the players have done a great job of managing the locker room all year long. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure we learn from it first, though. I mean, I think it's important that we understand that there's parts of our games that really need to improve, but uh, not to dwell on it and make sure that we, you know, turn the page and get ready for a, a very good opponent. Talk about the goaltending. You know, I, I think that's been extremely strong this year. Um, and uh, Max and, and David are progressing very well. Yeah, I mean, Matt, Max probably didn't have the start he wanted there on Friday night. But, uh, you know, I, we have a lot of other <laughs> defensive deficiencies at that point. But our, our goaltending's been good. There are a couple of very talented uh, you know, young goalies. And uh, they're developing in the league just like all of our other players are. And that's one other thing. This is a developmental league. You're going to go through some lumps with some younger guys. Talk a little bit how you keep their mentality high or their, their mental status high. Well, I mean, for some of our players coming from high school hockey, I mean, this is the end of the season for them. You know, playing your, your mm -hmm. 26th, 27th game, counting our preseason games right now, I mean, that's what they would have played in the high school season. So uh, it's learning to play, you know, night in and night out at this level and, and being prepared and, and how to prepare. And so, you know, we, we talk about that stuff a lot, but, you know, that's where they, the veterans in that locker room can really help some of these younger guys. We appreciate your time and good luck prepping for Madison this week. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you.